Oh, look, there's the light again. Whoa! This is the long imprisoned demon comes free and destroys a church. Demon's revenge. So that was the demon coming out and attacking the church. That was too cool. Perfect timing as it hit, exploded against the church like that. Oh my gosh. Hello everybody, welcome to another Planet Coaster Spotlight. This time I found the one that was uploaded just a couple days ago, which looks incredible. Uh, it's called Fright Night Dark Ride. Um, I'm not going to watch that video or anything, just going to get in there, ride it, and see what's going on. But it looks pretty neat just from the screenshots. But not to spoil too much, let's move down to description here. Oh. This one is uh, created by Ranger on Steam. He says, Hello, this is my second big dark ride in Planet Coaster. Oh, I might have to go check out his first one if I haven't already. Anyways, he says he used nearly 700 triggers for the ultimate dark ride. 700 triggers? I mean, that sounds pretty insane to me, but maybe I've already ridden ones that use that many. Not sure, but that sounds like a nightmare to <laughs> set up. Uh, let's see. The ride is showing six different stories at nighttime and is over eight minutes long. Okay, so this is going to be a long one, folks, but uh, as long as we got plenty of cool stuff to look at, I think we're in for a treat. Let's check it out. Here we are, just loaded up and was greeted by this awesome view. This looks like the general entrance and it looks awesome. Oh. Oh. Okay. So that is definitely pretty interesting. The way that he did it was he kind of raised this plateau up here, built the ride underground, and now built an entrance on the side of the hill. And that's a pretty clever idea. That looks really cool, too. Really, really good idea. Alright, so it appears that the park's not open. I don't know if that's on purpose or what, but I prefer to see these things kind of alive, you know? Having people run through them and people's reactions and all that good stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and open the park. I also had to open the ride because that wasn't open by default. Um, I mean, I guess different folks, different strokes, but... I prefer everything to kind of be open and lively whenever I get to it. So it might be something to consider before you, you know, upload your sandboxes to the workshop. But anyways, I'm going to try to speed up time here and get some people on this ride. Oh my lord. Everyone is excited and hurrying along here. Oh my god, look at how many people are coming in for this one ride. And they just keep coming. Maybe that's why he has it closed by default. That is definitely pretty ridiculous. Alright, so now that we've got a ridiculous amount of people trying to get into the park, uh, that was very smart of me. But anyways, Let's go in and actually try to ride this sucker, huh? We'll go along with the crowd here. Just walk right in. Okay, not too bad of a queue line here, but look at the inside of this. 
this is really neat. So he's lined the ceiling with the boulders and the rock, rocks and everything, and then even built some custom castle-like columns. That looks pretty cool. Very nice. Very atmospheric stalactites? Stalagmites? Not sure. But those are pretty neat. I mean, it feels like a cave. This is really cool. Very excited about trying this. All right. Here we go. This is going to be very cool. I hope. All right. It is extremely dark. Oh. Lights just came on to show that, I guess. Cool. Ah, uh, yes. It's kind of a cool effect. Oh, that's neat. Oh, wow. Very cool looking. I really like that blue flame looking stuff in the lit eyes. That just worked. Worked really well together. So this is the Forgotten Caverns. It says in the first scene you'll discover a dark cave with some spooky effects. Very nice timing with the light up for things that are kind of supposed to scare us. Do not open. Okay. Cool. Whoa! What is that? I don't know what that was, but it was a cool effect. Not entirely sure what that was supposed to represent. Alright, so now it's... Oh, look at that. It's kind of like we went outside. That's, there's a star effect. That looks really cool. Looks like you're on a real ride that tries to reproduce that same effect, you know? So, good job with that. Oh, this looks neat up here. I guess the timing was so that we don't see some of the effects ahead of us from another car because I kind of saw that light up oh I think we're in Demon's Revenge oh look there's the light again whoa this is the long imprisoned demon comes free and destroys a church Demon's Revenge so that was the demon coming out and attacking the church that was too cool perfect timing as it hit exploded against the church like that Oh my gosh. And then it lit up red like this. Whoa! This is nuts! He even put an upside down cross in there. Wow. More of the nighttime feel. Oh, this is, this is so good. Oh, I see cemetery. So this is the third, uh, the third section here. Cemetery. The ride is going through a cemetery at midnight where the dead awaken. Very nicely detailed. There's like a mausoleum there. Look at that graveyard to the left. Did you see that? That was very cool. It was like a well. Wow. Look at all of this. Oh my god. No way. That is such a good idea. They lit them up like spectrals. Look at them. Oh, that one's halfway in the ground. How clever. Wow, look at that. <laughs> oh, hey there. How how cool is that? I mean, that is that is really brilliant. Wow. I hope we're having fun. Okay, so next is the crazy laboratory. It says, join a mad scientist which will bring the 
the typical monster back. Oh, nice. Nice lightning and thunder effect there. That was cool. And a laugh. Oh, and look. Oh, look down there. That's cool. I love that. That was really neat. Oh, here we are. In the laboratory. That is definitely pretty cool. Wow, the lighting is so well done in this. Good job. And the triggers are just fantastic. Look at all the electricity. Look at those. That is too cool. Okay. Uh-oh. That did not look good. Oh my god, this would be exciting to ride in real life. This is phenomenal. Oh, here comes the monster. Uh! Oh, clipping. That that would have hurt. <laughs> hey, that's the only complaint I've had. Everything else has been just amazingly done. Okay, next is Train Bridge. A train drives over a burning bridge and explodes. Spoiler alert. But once again, here's the nighttime atmosphere, which is just beautiful. I like the blow the blue glow to everything. It's really neat. And the moon even. Alright, so here's the train. Oh! Whoa! Cool! Ah, you can't really see it burn. Okay. It's a cool effect. Next, Cursed Forest. This is the last one. But it says the last scene is a spooky forest with witches. Have we already... Has this already been almost eight minutes? It really does not feel like it. I guess that's how good this is. It's kept me so enthralled that the passage of time has not been evident. Okay, that's cool. It's like sprites lighting up in the trees. That is really cool. And then here's some Christmas themed stuff. Nice laugh. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, so it's the witch candy house to entice children, I would imagine. Very nice purple glow mixed with this orange and green here. Really well done. Oh, hey, look, there's, there's a witch there. Look at that! Cool effect. I just don't want to know what spell she cast on me. That's that's worrisome. Okay, there's there's another witch flying around. Very cool. There's some flames belched at us. Man, they are just going nuts, casting spells, shooting. Look at that. That's not very nice. Very nice though. Very cool. Don't be over. Don't be over. Of course it's over. That was the last scene. Wow. Well, guys, that was spectacular, really. I mean, you're right. Those triggers, I mean, there had to have been 700. I believe it. Uh, it's very engaging, really, it was, you know? So, it's very, very cool. I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I did. Let's see if I can get in here somehow and check something out. Well, it's too dark. Oh, no, I'm lost. Without the triggers going, you can't see where to go. <laughs> Oh, man. All 
Oh yeah, so this was really cool. Uh, oh wow, look, this is all one building here. Come on. Piecing this apart to see what's going on here. Okay, so fairy lights. It's a very clever idea. Look at that. You see what they did? Turn these to black so that they're not visible. And then turn the middle ones to red to create the eye effect. Very clever. Very clever. I wanted to check out exactly how that was done. And there you go. Look at that. It lo it works really well. I didn't even realize that's what that was using until I pieced it apart. But now it's pretty evident now that we know what it is. <laughs> Alright. Sorry for disrupting that one skull. Hopefully I don't get a curse. I don't know why I keep trying to talk like Dracula, it doesn't even make any sense. Uh, okay, so the moon effect was neat. What is that? That's just a miscellaneous sign with the... What? That's smart. Holy crap. Okay, so it's just... A sign here, circle, target lit, miscellaneous sign, <laughs> with one of these floodlights behind it to kind of create that moon glow that kind of goes out like this. I mean, that is a really good idea. And then this has this triggered light up here somewhere. It just looked like a single light. I'm surprised it lit the whole thing up that much but oh here's this effect oh how cool is that that's really effective that's really really effective yeah there we go one light lit up this whole thing that's pretty impressive but anyways that's definitely pretty neat well done on this church too I'd say that's pretty well built I wonder if that's a uh, custom or if that was off the workshop. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Good use of it, regardless. So, <laughs> I guess the oh, okay. So these were the seating. It would make more a little more sense to have maybe some pews or something. Okay, and then the stars here. These were a little more evident that they were the uh, what fairy lights, I guess. But three of them are black and one of them's white. Nonetheless, though, the further away you are from the ceiling, the harder it is to tell. Especially in that other room, I believe, with the train. Oh, look at that. I didn't notice that before. That's why I always like coming back into the ride and kind of doing a brief run-through of everything, because so much you miss especially in these really elaborate ones like this see I mean look at that there's like a skeleton there there's a neat a whole neat tree here with a person or a skeleton hanging and look there's look look at that it's like Robin Hood spirit has come back and this is just such a good idea this makes me wish we had even more animatronics now that we could <laughs> make like ghosts and try to recreate, you know, the haunted mansion from Disneyland or something. Because that looks that's really effective. Lighting them up like that? What kind of light is that, I wonder? That's its own building? Oh, there's the colored event light. 
and it's just using kind of, look at that, it's using like a, like a teal type color, and it looks like it's coming from every direction. Look at how, that is such a good idea. Oh my god, I can't stop saying that, I'm so sorry. But it really is so many good ideas in this freaking ride. Alright. So that was really neat, how it just looks like it goes down and down and down and down and down. And then the eyes popped up in the back. I mean, look at this archway. That that looks really good, too. Castle roof. Yep. Very, very well done. Yep, there they are. <laughs> Very cool. Oh, they got some coffins dangling here. <laughs> like they're almost like they're going down an assembly line waiting to be <laughs> reanimated over here or something. It's really neat. Okay, striped. Those are awnings stacked. Awnings. <laughs> oh, I didn't even I missed this laser earlier, how it just lit up and went down like that. And then right before it lights up like this, I see there's so many things you can miss. It's almost warrants a second ride through, but since I'm going through it manually like this, we won't ride it again. Very neat. Ah, yes. Let's get a let's get a better view of this train exploding here. God, look at how I mean that's a tall track here. Can you imagine how long that had to have taken or yeah, how long that took to build this? All right, we'll check it out after we see the cool effect. Should be any second now. They're coming around the corner. Whoa, here we go. All the way up, like it's spreading. Very cool. Alright. But anyways, yeah, I was just wanting to... See what this... Yeah, I mean... <laughs> built plank by plank on this. Um, of course you can just construct one section I guess and copy it up but still that's that involves like a bunch of blueprints because of their goofy their goofy freaking duplicate rules. I don't even I don't know. Moving right along Yeah, see this this lighting is just great. Great color selection and everything. The candy house looks great under that color even. Well, hello. Yeah, she's not not very pretty, is she? That, that's cool. I love that. This whole thing animates? I didn't even know that. I guess I haven't played around with the witch stuff much. <laughs> But hey, at least the the car matches this scene. Am I right? Okay. That was it. Man, let's go check out how this crowd outside's doing now. <laughs> oh my god, what are they what is wrong with these people? Anyways, 
this is just great. Great job all around. I love it. Can't wait to try more like this. I really like these really elaborate slow rides like this. Uh, especially the good ones that keep your interest. Very nice. All right, well, I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, please subscribe if you do. I'm going to keep doing these things just because I love doing it for fun. Uh, hit a like button, subscribe. Uh, leave me a comment. Tell me what you thought of it. Other than that, have a great day, and thanks for watching. Bye.